Hello, welcome to this video on addition by Corporate Maths, and we're going to be looking at the column method of addition in this video. So let's have a look at our first question, 52 plus 16. So we'll write down 52 plus, and then beneath it, 16. So lining up the units and lining up the tens. And we're just going to put a line beneath that just to show where our answer is going to go, which is going to be beneath the line. So let's add together, first of all, our units. So we'll start from the right-hand side, and we'll work our way across to the left. So our units to begin with, 2 plus 6 is 8. So we'll just write our 8 there, and we'll move into our tens column. 5 plus 1, well, 5 plus 1 is 6. So our answer would be 68. So we added together 52 and 16, our answer would be 68. OK, let's have a look at our next example, our next question. So our next question is 48 plus 37. And again, I'm just going to put a line beneath them just to keep everything nice and tidy. And we're going to start from the right hand side, the units and work away across to the left. So if we look at our units, we've got 8 plus 7. Now 8 plus 7 is 15. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the 5 from the 15 there and we're going to carry the 1 over. Now the, where you carry the 1 will depend on how your teacher teaches you. You might want to carry the 1 there or you might want to put the 1 beneath or you might want to put the 1 here. Here. I put the one there just because that's what my teacher told me uh, whenever I was in school or taught me whenever I was in school I just put a small one there but you can put it here you can put it there as long as you're carrying it over somewhere it doesn't really matter as long as you remember to include it when you're adding up okay so let's add up the numbers in the tens column so we've got 4 plus 3 plus 1 4 plus 3 is 7 plus 1 is 8 so our answer is 85 and that's it okay let's have a look at our next uh, our next question so our next question is 428 plus 191 and again I've lined up the numbers in the units in the tens and in the hundreds columns so they're all nicely lined up and I've put a line beneath it just to keep it nice and tidy so we're going to start from the right hand side the units and we're going to work our way across to the left so 8 plus 1 is 9 so that goes beneath them okay now let's go into the tens column 2 plus 9 well 2 plus 9 is 11 so we're going to put the 1 from the 11 there and we're going to carry over the other 1 so we can either write it here here or I'm going to keep, keep it on the bottom there as long as you carry it over and make sure you add it on it, it doesn't really matter okay 4 plus 1 is 5 plus another 1 is 6 so our answer is 619 okay our fourth question this time we've got three numbers to add up we've got 493 294 and 61 and again I've lined up the units so I'm just going to move that one from the 61 over a bit <laughs> okay um, we have got our units lined up we have got our tens lined up and we've got our hundreds lined up okay so let's just put a line beneath it make sure we put a little plus sign to show that we're adding them up and I'm actually just going to move that one slightly over to be more central okay so let's start off with the remember we start from the right hand side of the units and we work our way across to the left so let's start off with the units three plus four is seven plus one is eight so i'll put it we'll put our eight there let's move into the uh the uh the tens column nine plus nine is eighteen plus another six is twenty four so i'll we'll put our four there and we're going to carry our two over this time because it's twenty four we're going to carry our two over to the next column here and i put it just there again you could put it at the top or you could put it at the bottom okay the hundreds four plus two is six plus two is eight so our answer is 848. Right, number five. We've got this time uh, 2,611 plus 1,593. And we're going to add them together. And again, I'm just going to put the line beneath it just to keep everything nice and tidy. And we'll start from the right-hand side and we'll work our way across to the left. So starting with the units, 1 plus 3 is 4. Now into the tens. 1 plus 9 is 10. So we'll put our 0 down and we'll carry 1. Again, remember the position can be the top, the bottom or there. As long as you're carrying over, it doesn't really matter. 6 plus 5 is 11 plus 1 is 12. So we'll uh, put our 2 down and carry our 1. And into our thousands, 2 plus uh, 1 is 3 plus another 1 is 4. So our answer is 4,204. Right, so our last example, our last question. This time we've got 48,000, get the numbers again quite large here, 48,752, and we're gonna add that together with 9,518. And again, I've, made, I've been very careful in lining up the numbers. I've put the units, the tens, the hundreds, the thousands, and the tens of thousands all in the same columns just to line them all up. And we'll put our plus sign.
Okay, we're gonna start with our units. Two plus eight is 10, so put our zero down, carry our one. Into the tens, five plus one is six, plus one is seven. Into our hundreds, seven plus five is 12, so we'll put our two down and carry our one. Into our thousands, eight plus nine is 17, plus one is 18, so we'll put our eight down and carry our one. And finally, the tens of thousands uh, place value, or column, four plus one is five. So if we add it together, 48,752 and 9,518, our answer would be 58,270. And that's it.